Hello, I'm Mark and welcome to Itch and Ride. Today I'm at John Banks Honda and I'm test riding the CB500X. See you in a minute. So the Honda CB500X, this has actually got the same engine and frame as the CBR500R and the CB500F. Uh, what they've done on this model is they've turned this into like an adventure model really, and sort of like an adventure bike. So they're giving this longer suspension travel, 19 inch front wheel and semi off road tyres. So it's a bit of a do it all bike really. Uh, another nice thing is it's A2 compliant, so if you've got an A2 license, you can ride it. You haven't actually got a destrictor or anything because it's only 47 horsepower, 43 newton meters of torque, so you can just buy it and ride it. So it's pretty good for A2 license holders as well. I've been riding this a little while now. I must admit, this is a really nice bike to ride. <laughs> That's lovely. I feel so light and flickable, so I'm so used to riding big bikes, you know, like 1000ccs and that. And actually this 500, it's a lovely little bike. Just turns into the corners so easily. It's lovely. Very well balanced. Just rolls in, rolls out. Sweet. And this year, it's actually had a, quite a bit of an update, really. Because uh, the previous owners did have a bit of a problem with the brakes on it, the front brakes, because it only had a single disc on the front. So the brakes weren't fantastic. Uh, and the suspension was very soft. Uh, but this year, they've actually improved all that. So now you've got twin discs up the front. So you've got twice as much stop and power. And you've got Showa 41mm big piston forks, upside down as well. So massive improvement over the old ones. Now I haven't actually ridden the older model, so I can't compare it to that bike. But obviously these are a big improvement over the, the previous model. So you've got twice as much stopping power on the front air now. So it's got to be better. Yeah, so basically I'm just riding this, see what the bike's like, so just let you know if I like it or not. But like I say, I can't compare it to the older model, because I ain't rid it. But I can tell you, oh, bloody hell. How can you not see me? I don't know. <laughs> right, where was I? Yeah, just riding it anyway, just see what it's like. What I think of it. So far, it's a lovely bike. Very comfortable. The mirrors are spot on on this. Very clear, they don't vibrate or anything. And your arms aren't really in the way. And they're a tiny bit. So they're nice and clear. No problems there. So to reach the bars is spot on for me. I'm about 5, 10, 12 and a half stone. So the seating position is pretty much spot on to be honest. You can adjust the bars if you undo the clamp here, so you can bring them nearer to you or further away if you need to. The leg room's spot on. Not cramped up or anything. And it's just nice, to be honest. So it's a nice place to be. 
seat is very soft seems good at the moment I don't know like after like a few hours on it though but I'd say it's a very soft comfortable seat at the moment it's all good it's got an LCD dash on here it's got everything you need on here you know your time it's got your temperature gear indicator fuel gauge so that's all good but it's not like the clearest thing you get a bit of glare and stuff you know so it might go a little bit hard to see sometimes because like I say it's an LCD dash if it was a TFT that'd be lovely bright and easy to read but but it is what it is you know it's all right at the end of the day this bike's only five no sorry six thousand five hundred and ninety nine pound so you know it's very cheap so if you keep adding stuff onto it you know like tft dashes and stuff your price is going to go up and that so at the end of the day it does the job the screen on this is actually adjustable but you need allen keys there's bolts down the side here Go and undo them, we'll take them out actually, move it up and then put them in different holes to bring it up higher. So you can't just adjust it when you're riding along, which is a bit of a shame. That's something they could improve on, I suppose. Maybe for the next model, they might do that. So like next model, you never know, might put a TFT dash and uh, adjustable screen on it. Let's go left here. But we'll see what the wind protection's like in a bit. So it should be going on a dual carriageway, so we'll see what it's like on the dual carriageway. Right, going through here, see what the fuel is like, 30 mile an hour. Yeah, it's very smooth. No jerkiness. It's not snatchy. That's all good. So I think that's another thing on the previous model. I think that was a little bit jerky and you know, out of fuel, and I think that was spot on, you know. There's something else they've improved. They've changed the mapping on this. Yeah, that's, that's spot on. Couldn't be any better, to be honest. So I've done a top job of that. It's actually got an immobiliser standard as well, Honda's immobiliser system. So that'll help a bit for the insurance. The clutch lever on this is very, very light. You won't get a lighter clutch lever. So that's clutch assist, that's got a slipper clutch as well. So yeah, very, very light. That's not an adjustable lever though on the clutch lever, but on the actual brake lever, it is span adjustable, so that's quite handy. This comes with um, LED lights as well, and indicators. And actually the indicators, they're on all the time. So, make it a bit more visible, a bit safer on this model. The seat height on this, is 830mm. So it's quite tall. But the seat is quite thin, so I can quite easily touch the floor on this, easily. So don't be put off by the seat height, you definitely want to go and try one out. Let's say because it's so thin, you can quite easily get your feet on the floor. This is 199 kilograms wet this, ready to go. And when you're riding it, you don't feel the weight on it at all. Like I say, it just rolls in the corners lovely. Feels very light and flickable spot on I say to set this up the balance of the bike and everything really well there's uh, quite a few extras you can get for this bike you can get a full pannier kit top box and side panniers and everything uh, engine guards you know this is what this has got on it actually it's the only extra this has got so like uh, frame protection engine guards whatever you want to call it <laughs> you can get heated grips as well and a center stand and there is a place here for a 12 volt socket it hasn't actually got it on this model so that must be an extra so yeah, there's a few bits you can get accessorize it up a bit and it actually is a taller screen as well 
which might be quite handy. Now this comes in three colours. You got this green, which I like actually. I found it looked quite smart in this green. And then there's a red one and there's a black one. So three different colours to choose from. This has actually got a parallel twin engine in it. That's actually 471cc. Like I said, that's 47 horsepower. Uh, it's 43 newton meters of torque. So it's quite a nice little engine, that really. It's got enough go in it. Obviously, it hasn't got loads. Obviously, it's only 47 horsepower, but that does go right. You know, you can open it up. But you need to use the revs really to get it going, you know. But it does get going. So, yeah, so it's not bad. Quite a nice little engine. And like I say, it's A2 compliant, so that's why that's that horsepower. This makes it ideal for an A2 license holder. Let's try this handling out around here a bit. And the brakes. But so it just rolls lovely into the corners. It's balanced so well. Very nice. It's just a really nice bike to ride. Very easy to ride as well. Let's just try these brakes out actually. No one behind me. But yeah, really nice strong brakes. Nothing wrong with them brakes now. Then you gotta worry about that. If you've got the older model and you're thinking about you know getting a newer one. and the upgrades are done I'll say they're, they're, they're great no problems now right sweet it's got a 17.7 .7 litre fuel tank in this and that does an amazing 80 miles per gallon which is loads it should get about 300 miles to a tank out of it as well. <laughs> so, this bike is so good in so many ways for so many different people. You know, if you want a bike to do some touring on, you know, I know it's only got a little engine, but you know, you could tour on this, no problem. So you've got the comfort, very, very comfortable. I was saying you've got the miles per gallon, you know, so if you're doing mega miles, it's going to be very cheap to run. So yeah, so it's good for touring. Plus, like I said, you can get all the panniers for it as well. They do all that, top box, panniers, a lot. So everything you need, you can get it. And if you want a bike really to commute on, that would be brilliant for that. You know, because of the fuel economy. Uh, like I say, you could do a little bit of off-roading on it if you wanted to. Because they've got an extra suspension travel on this model. 19-inch front wheel and those semi-off-road tyres, you know. So you could do a bit of that as well, you know. So that's, that's good in so many ways. It's, it's just it's a great bike, really. And like I say, A2 lights holder, you can just jump straight on it. You know, you haven't got a restrictor or anything. Which is a big help. Obviously, you've got that cost then of having it restricted. Right, pain. So, what I'm not going to do, I'm not going to go to the dual carriageway. I'm going to try it out on air to see how revvy the bike is at 70 mile an hour and uh, see what the wind protection's like. So, we're on the dual carriageway now, doing 70 mile an hour. The bike's doing about, well, it's revving about five and a half thousand revs. So it ain't too bad, it's not like really noisy and revvy. That's alright, actually. Quite surprising. Just a little engine. And the wind protection, that's pretty good actually. My head ain't being blown around or anything like that. And this is on the lower setting as well. So it can come up a bit higher. But to be honest, that feels pretty good anyway. And there is a touring screen you can buy as well, so. I was saying 510, so if you're really tall, if you're six foot or whatever, then maybe the touring screen might be better for you. But at least the option's there if you need it. 
so to sum it all up I'll say this is a fantastic little bike for £6,599 you know what a bike yeah, it hasn't got all like the gizmos on it like traction control anti wheelie and all that you know and rider modes but obviously you don't need it because it's uh, it hasn't you know it's only got 47 horsepower <laughs> so obviously you don't need none of that stuff and to be honest it's quite nice to get on a bike that you ain't got to keep messing about with all the settings and trying this setting and trying to find it you know what you like and end of the day all the base settings on this are really good suspension settings are good you know the fuel runs good or the mapping on it you know you, you don't the suspension ice as well is actually not adjustable on the front at all but a set up nice so you don't really need to mess about with it uh, the rear you can adjust the preload on it but that's it but like I say for me I'm like 12 and a half stone rides fine you know, don't really need to mess about with it so unless you're going to put luggage on and a passenger then obviously you then adjust that preload which you can do but yeah fantastic little thing especially for the money I really enjoyed riding it so if it's something you're interested in then give John Banks Honda a ring at Barry St Edmunds you know, they'll be happy for you to take the spike out for a little spin and I'm sure they'll do you a good deal on one as well but like if you do that please mention it should the ride that would be great thanks and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up um, and obviously if you're new to the channel please check out all my other videos there's other bike reviews there's ride outs touring videos all stuff like that and soon I'm actually going to Switzerland so I'll be 10 days away in Switzerland soon and I'll be filming that so that should be pretty good it's gonna be an amazing trip so please subscribe to the channel so i'll see you all on the next video see you later